Hello, my name is Mike Gibson and I'm going to demonstrate something I've been working on for the past few months called the harpeggio. A lot of musicians try to arpeggiate notes on pianos and have a lot of trouble with it. It takes a lot of skill and practice to really hone arpeggiated chords, especially at fast rates or if the chords are changing mid-arpeggio. Arpeggiating notes inside a DAW is actually pretty tedious since you either have to draw each note in with your pencil tool or use an arpeggiating plugin that has predefined settings that you can't quite tweak as free as you can play a piano. After dealing with this problem for quite some time, I sketched some solutions and came up with the most ergonomic and potentially successful solution to this problem. I did some test coding on a Teensy using Arduino and built a PCB around it in KiCad. This PCB became the defining shape of the harpeggio. I put switches on it so that we can select which notes are audible during playback, four buttons to allow chords to be changed in a four chord progression, these buttons remember the chords that are selected by the switches, and a linear soft potentiometer that I'll be calling a soft pot from now on, to play the notes that are being selected by the buttons that's being pressed down. As with any project, the code and the physical creation here has a couple of issues. Uh, I've created a list of these issues and potential solutions that I'll be enacting over time, which you can see on the screen now. In lieu of a currently not working harpeggio, I've created a simulation in Max MSP. On the right side of the screen, you can see the simulation. At the top of Max, you can see a octave of piano notes. Above and below them are little X's, which are toggle switches, to turn these notes on and off. These notes represent the switches that are on the harpeggio. The note selections are then saved to each of the four buttons. These selections can be recalled by pressing down and holding these buttons. When a button is held down, nothing is going to be played until the right thumb slides up and down the soft pot. As your finger slides up and down the soft pot, notes in octave multiples of the notes that have been selected, according to the button that you're pushing down, are going to be played back. And don't worry, if that doesn't make sense now, it will in a second. Since my hardware isn't quite working yet, I've programmed my MPK-261, or just my keyboard here, to simulate the Harpeggio's hardware. At the bottom center of the screen, you can see a zoomed-in view of my keyboard. There are four lights, one red, yellow, green, and blue, to represent the buttons. The top row that's currently illuminated is just to let me know where to play, and as I push the buttons below, they will illuminate in corresponding colors. If you notice in Max, it's sending MIDI data and turning on and off those buttons. Red yellow, green, and blue. And as I push those buttons, the toggle switches above and below the notes on the piano roll are turning off and on. This is selecting different notes or chords to arpeggiate. These are currently built within a C minor key signature, so there's a four chord progression within that key signature being played by these buttons. The linear soft pot is being simulated by my mod wheel. As I push the mod wheel up, you'll see the blue line go up the soft pot as if your finger is sliding up the soft pot. And the same is back down. And I have free range up and down any way I want. 
So far, no notes are going to be cued because buttons need to be pressed and the mod wheel needs to be moved simultaneously for notes to be played. In the center of the screen, I have an Ableton Live session receiving MIDI data from Max to play these notes. Since the harpeggio can't be played like a traditional instrument, a piano or a violin for example, it needs its own type of score. I've used processing to code a graphical score for the harpeggio. On the left side of the screen you can see that code now. I can share this code if you're interested or go into further detail later in another video if you guys are curious. The only part of the code that you need to understand before going further is that the currently highlighted selection of the code shows which regions the mod wheel or the soft pot should be played. And the section below it has time in milliseconds of which color cues or which buttons should be pressed when. Here's an example using some music I've composed myself to demonstrate the arpeggio and all of these aspects combined. Before getting started, here's a demo of selecting notes and saving them. As you can see, I'm turning notes on and off, which would be turning switches on and off, and I'm saving it to a preset, which would be saving it to one of the buttons. I'm changing notes at random here and not creating anything in this particular key signature or useful chord progression, but I'm going to change them up just enough so you can hear them whenever I demo it. I've turned D, E, F, A flat, B flat and B natural on, saved that one. E and F go off, the flats and B go off, and I create a D pentatonic, or a D suspended chord here, and save it. And just before going into music, I want to make sure that I test it, and here's what these four chords sound like with a plucky sound. Now that we've verified that everything's working, I changed my chords back to the chord progression used in my composition and recorded some music. Please be aware that I'm doing this without being able to hear what I'm playing, so anything that sounds kind of weird uh, is not really able to be corrected. It's just a demo. <laughs> 